Hey everybody, it's V. How you doing? We're going to be doing something a little different today. I normally do not do any kind of illegal or personal missions, but in this case, it's just kind of hauling one hammerhead from a trespassing zone out. So it's kind of just like a trespassing charge. Uh, I will say you will get a, a crime stat of two when you do this mission, but it's a lot of fun and it's a great payout. Let, let me show you what I'm talking about. So here in the personal missions, uh, I've already grabbed one. I don't know if there's going to be another one in there right now. There, there's not, but it's it's here. It's, it's in the accepted. This one does not have a fee. It did not have a fee, uh, but in that it, it will be located here in the personal salvage and it's called Hammerhead Cleanup. Uh, you just Hammerhead Cleanup. And this is actually a 250,000 AUEC payout. And uh, it's very, very uh, straightforward. And um, you use the SRV to tug this thing. So it's it's really fun. So let's go ahead and get started. So uh, I am going to show you my SRV uh, to begin with here. We're gonna take a look at that guy. And I actually, you know, threw some components in this guy. Uh, here in systems, you can see uh, I have an avalanche, which is, you know, all this is great A military stuff. Uh, the JS400, uh, the XL1 drive. I love that the um, that the SRV can have the XL1 drive, and I do have an FR76. Of course, the tractor beam is uh, is bespoke, so there's no changing that out for now, at least. Um, uh, but I can tell you that, uh, you know, anyways, uh, I'm very excited about kind of. Uh, you know, showing you this mission today. And I don't honestly know if there's a different um, uh, uh, tractor beam head that's available for the SRV. There might be, I haven't looked into it, but the one that uh, comes stock is, is, is perfectly good. So let's go ahead and pull that SRV and get started. Like I said, I traditionally don't do um, anything that's kind of illegal, but in this particular case, uh, it's a great use of the... Um, we're at uh, Hangar 1. It's a great use of the SRV, um, and it's a really excellent um, thing to show. And so, yep, here we go. I called the elevator, but she's being a little stingy. Ah, oh, there she comes. Hangar 1. Now, one thing I will say is, um, doing this 4K videos, I've noticed that this particular build, as you can see there, is it just a touch more framey? Um, I don't know that that's in my actual OBS or anything. It's it's just, I don't know, she's just a touch more framey. I'm not gonna spend a lot of time chatting about that, but we are gonna talk about it. So uh, SRV, let's talk about that, really. That's the that's actually the the real awesome thing to talk about. This, this ship is an absolute game changer. It is a masterpiece of emergent gameplay. You can do the craziest, funniest things with this ship it is it is so fun uh you know you can um obviously you know some real basic things that you could do with it like follow your um you, you, if you have org mates or friends that are doing erts uh and those you know right now still have tremendous salvage available in them um and you, you know if for some reason they soft death the ship in atmo and it's you know orientated in a funny way where you can't get into it or whatever um that's something that you can actually use this ship to write. Uh, really, um, last night uh, I was working with uh, Mass and a few of the few of the guys. They were doing a salvage mission, and while they were salvaging, I think it was a C2 in the Reclaimer. Uh, I found close by to them a salvage field, and in that, you know, we w I went and picked up salvage pieces, uh, salvage piece, and brought it back where they could get it. So you could actually like follow around like a reclaimer that's say in an asteroid you know or that's gone to say uh, a salvage you can you know use your scanning mechanics to look around for a salvage field and pull pieces close to that thing to kind of keep them busy um, so you know of course eventually you're going to be able to pull rocks around and all sorts of stuff but anyways uh, I digress let's go ahead and keep moving here um, I'm going to go ahead and have them open this thing up I just the point I'm trying to make is I absolutely adore this ship. This ship has been so much fun. It's so different. Um, you can kind of choose your own adventure with it. And, and of course, you can do that without any ship. But, it, you know, this particular ship has been... Yeah, I've really done some funny things with it. But this mission is great. So let's go ahead. Now, it's, it's going to be around Yila. 
All right, up we go. Cool. And let's go hit this. Uh, yeah, we'll head towards this. I think is that a OM marker there? Maybe we'll go there Thank first. You. Ah, see you all too. Yeah, we'll just we'll head towards that there. Get on the other side of the planet, and then we will. Ooh, am I being searched? <laughs> I am. He's been authorized to search my vehicle. Do I see him anywhere? Nope. Here, I'm going to go ahead and pull my gear up. I am free to go. All right, well, that's fine. <laughs> Thank you, sir. All right, we're just going to get on the other side of the planet here. Uh, and then I'm just going to drop out. We are actually headed towards uh, Yala, so that's where we want to head towards. We'll set that route now. And uh, this ship makes the kind of the coolest little creaks, shutters. It's got a lot of subtlety to it. It sounds awesome when you're hauling things. Uh, and we're just going to grab this hammerhead. And, and, and really, it's a very chill mission. This mission is super chill. Uh, and so here we go. We're going to go ahead and go after the salvage now. It takes about a half hour to do this mission or so, and it, it yields about 220000 after you pay off your crime stat. Um, and so, yeah, the crime stat is kind of comes with the territory here. It is a personal mission. It's a, it's a trespassing charge. It's nothing super egregious. Um, we will have to kind of be quick about this, though. You can see that there's another ship there. And so let me make sure I've got, uh, I'm going to go ahead as I'm flying in. This is the angle I like to have. I want to make sure my tractor will turn on. Good. Kind of just a little bit of prep work there. You're not going to be able to go super duper duper fast. Uh, you're going to be, you know, averaging around 35 or so um, meters a second when you tug this guy because it's a big ship, the, the hammerhead. You've got to, of course, be very careful with, um, you know, with breaking the tether if you're you know going too fast or whatever it's just something you have to and i'm kind of switching to mouse and keyboard now that's the way that i like to do industrial stuff um it just kind of puts me in a mindset that i'm kind of you know nothing you know try, not trying to be in a super big hurry we're coming in at a you know at a reasonable clip right around scm and uh yeah Somebody hit, somebody flew into a rock over there. They're fighting each other like crazy over there. Look at that. That's funny. There's people fighting each other is what, what's funny about that. All right. And so we're we want to we're going to come in here. I'm actually going to go to this. Oh, actually, I'm going to go to this side of the hammerhead. Now that we're in here. Yeah, this is going to be perfect. All right. So what I like to do is is I will back up just a touch just to make sure it's not too crazy. I'm going to turn around. And uh, we're going to go ahead and... All right, I got her. And that's it, you know? I mean, you got it. You got her, right? So now you got to start moving forward. Um, I'm going to try and just... I want to go kind of... Up. You want to get out of the asteroid. So that's kind of a big thing that you want to do. Um, I am going to start moving at around. I'm going to bring this down here. I'm going to try and start moving. And you can see we got her. She is right behind us. Um, and we are moving on out. I'm trying to get out of the asteroids. Uh, I'm going to keep moving my mil... I'm going to try and settle in around 34 or so. I'm, I'm really focused on the range of the hammerhead right now. You can see at thir I'm, out of, I'm at 36, I'm at 37. She's still kind of staying with me at 37. That's great. You know, 38. If you can make that speed with her, uh, you know, 38, around 40 or so, and keep her in range, that's going to be great. I'm just going to go ahead and reorientate. I'm kind of... You can see this is me. I'm just tugging this guy 
just like they asked. And the whole concept is you're trying to pull her out of the trespassing zone. She's staying at a good range at 122. Um, and uh, yeah, looks like we've got, got some asteroids kind of drawing it kind of late or whatever, but that's okay. Well, we're on a good course. We've got, it's good clean space in front of us. We're making great time at, uh, and this is us for about, ten, you know, uh, really five to 10 minutes. In five to 10 minutes here, um, we're gonna, you know, get a payout of 250K. As long as nobody gets into us, blows us up, messes with us, we should be good. Hammerhead is still in tow. There's our first, uh, there's our, you know, first, Level one, oh, actually it's our level two crime sat. This is, that's what you normally get when you do this mission. You'll get a level two, it's just kind of the way it goes. And we're just gonna kind of keep tugging her. Pulling her away. I just love this. It's so fun. You, the SRV's got a great sound. This is a fun mission. It's a quick mission. Um, and you just kind of come in, you snatch this hammerhead and pull it away. Now, um, you can scan the hammerhead. I've done that a couple times. I don't seem to get good results. We're going to do that when we cross the finish line here. Um, but it does take a few minutes. So, yeah, so SRV, let's talk about, you know, obviously there, this is an absolute game changer. Uh, ultimately, you're not going to go to the scrap. You're going to bring the scrap to, you know, someplace in deep space where your org is at. You're going to pull the rocks and bring them to the, you know, to the, you, you, you it, this is really going to change things. I mean, I, I envision like uh, you send your scouts out, they locate the rocks, you send your SRV out, uh, they, grab the rocks and pull them. Right now, you can't do that. The rocks aren't don't seem to be pullable. I know that they do say, though, in the Q&A that it's going to be a thing. Uh, right now, with salvage missions, you know, you can just um, just come in, grab them, and take off, like in Wake, if, you know, or those types of things. You can just grab it and take off. Oop, now I do have, you notice my, I, my range got a little... I, you know, I tapped her back a bit. We're back, we're down to 35, and we're back in range again. This is this is about that is about the best speed you are gonna make when you're pulling this guy. She's coming along just nicely. We're doing great. But uh, yeah, this uh, we have had so much fun with these things lately. We have had an absolute blast with the SRVs, um, and uh, this is an, a really really simple way to to make some money. It's a it's a great. Uh, mission, I you know, like I said, kudos to CIG for putting in an SRV tow mission, uh, having the SRV in. Um, you know, when we found these, we were like, oh wow. We had a couple guys in the org who were, you know, hey, I ran four of these and I made a million. You know, and, and of course there is the cost of paying off your crime stat, but you know, it's it is what it is. You know. So sometime in the next like three to five minutes, I'm going to get a payout here, and uh, and then we're going to go take care of that crime stat. So. That's it. I mean, that, this is kind of the nature of it. It's great and it's simple. We're yanking that guy. You know, you can see that, that that's, that's the nature of it. And we're just, just keeping it right in there. Uh, I have it, you know, at, it's at a, like 123 meters or so. And, uh, and it, yeah, things are going really well. We're, we're, we're maintaining 34 um, meters a second. And if any of you have, have done this mission, if, you got, have you, if you're able to get it up to, to, to higher meters per second, let me know. I definitely have found that, you know, like, uh, I don't want to test the upper limits of the range. Um, I think it would hold on to 150. There's probably a way where you could... You probably can take it up to 50 or something. I just haven't really done it that much. Uh, we'll bump. We'll start bumping it up just a touch. But yeah, this is this is great. I, you know, once again, I just um, I absolutely adore the SRV. 
this SRV has been just a blast to play with. I have had so much fun. Uh, there is a bit of a learning curve, right? There's a bit of a learning curve. See, I had to drop back again. My range started getting white. Um, you know, on the left-hand uh, part of the HUD there. Um, but yeah, there is a learning curve, right? You have to learn how to kind of fly in first person. You know, there's yeah, there's definitely just a learning curve for sure. Let's go ahead and take a look back. She's just tugged, coming along nicely. No big deal there. We're cruising along. And uh, yeah, I mean, play, uh, flying in third person, kind of having the sticks backwards. A lot of kind of looking out the, you know, uh, using your external view to make sure that... And you have to be kind of methodical with this ship. It's not something that you're going to want to be. Uh, when you're towing something, um, the consequences can get, you know, uh, stack up pretty quickly <laughs> if you're if you're kind of being crazy or making mistakes. That being said, you can do some really funny things like grab rocks, ROCs, and, um, you know, from mining outposts and use use it as a mace and club a ship and knock a lane off or whatever. <laughs> so that's what I mean by immersion. It's just... It's kind of funny what you can do with this thing. Uh, now, of course, whenever you're grabbing things that aren't yours, there's crime stats involved. Uh, and, but it is what it is, right? So we're continuing to space tug along here. I, you know, it won't be long now. We'll be, you know, getting a few bucks. But we're, we are. We're just kind of cruising along here, trying to stay out of everybody's way, <laughs> pulling this, pulling this hammerhead up out of the trespassing zone. Oh, there we go. I just pulled it out of the trust. Trespassing's gone. We'll have to see how much further we have to go. I think the whole hammerhead has to get out of there. This is awesome. Just so much fun. I wonder how much, how far beyond trespassing we have to get. I don't, I'm not sure. I know it's, you just have to just basically haul it in one direction. Just tug it. Uh, you know, try, there you go. Contract complete. Aegis hammerhead cleanup. Uh, entire hull scraped is how it, it, it says. And you can see I'm awarded 250,000 uh, AUEC. Uh, and of course you do have a 32,000 fine. So let's go ahead and do what I like to do. Like I like to just at this point, I'm just going to turn off that. That, that I'm going to go ahead and go into scan mode. Uh, I will go ahead and slow down here. We'll just we'll just turn around for a sec. Oh yeah, we want to be careful though that we don't don't let the uh, when you detach from something it's still moving. So don't yeah be careful. Don't let it um, you know definitely don't let it run into you. It's one of those things about you know like I'm talking. About, you got to think about kind of what's happening with it. All right, I'm going to start scanning this guy. We'll see if we can get any kind of a scan out of it. I'm looking to see if there's anything on board, but I know I just haven't had that much luck lately with with um maybe if I kind of got above it. Just trying to get a scan out of it. You can see she's kind of bumping around a little bit. Yeah, and you can see I'm just not getting a, uh, you know, when I, that's, I did notice, they'll, they'll have to get that part of it fixed. It's just one of those things. Oh, I did get a scan. Uh, it doesn't look like anything's on there. Um, Arrestor 3's, Vipers, Quantum Drive is a Kamal. Ah, okay. So yeah, no big deal. Uh, there is no cargo on it. That's really what I was kind of curious if it had a cargo on it. Let's go ahead and go and, and go clear this uh, this crime sat. All right, so that's that. Let's head on in and get this clear. We're headed to OM one. In we go. So yeah, Seraphim or uh, CRUL one, whatever you're flying out of, uh, to Yella. Um, and then from there, you can, you know, the hammerhead clean up and just tug that guy away. And 220K, that's easy money. Easy pickings for just a little bit of work. You can probably do uh, between two and three of those an hour, maybe even four if you chain them back to back. Although, you know, you're going to want to clear the crime sat. Once you cross that three crime sat, you're going to have a situation where, um, 
you're gonna get hunted, so you probably wanna you you probably will do like two an hour, or the which is you know five hundred k an hour is um, nothing to sneeze at. Uh, it certainly isn't like the ERT twenty two million, uh, you know, you know, you know uh, hundred and thirty two SU evil eggs from you know a down date ninety jump in an ERT or something, but it's not bad money. I mean, by any stretch of the imagination, so. We're cruising on in here to Seraphim. I'm gonna just, what we're gonna do is we're gonna land, then I am going to clear my crime stat and then we're gonna call it good. So we'll get a sense of how long this took. Now, of course I wasn't, you know, through chatting with you and giving some examples and stuff, um, you could shave five minutes off of the time, maybe, you know, five to seven minutes based on, you know, us kind of messing around, doing some extras and that type of thing. But uh, I don't know about that much more. I don't know that we, we you know, we we wasted that much more time. So I think pretty close to that and we would be, uh, you know, pretty accurate. All right, we'll go ahead and call it. All right, there's our landing bay. Uh, drop the gear, lower the VTOLs. Landing gear down. Sweet. Kind of looks like we are good and upright here. That's awesome. So let's go ahead and... I've been kind of nose-inning on these. Uh... Oh, boy. I think I 30K'd. Uh, we crashed. Star Citizen doing Star Citizen things here. That's what it does. <laughs> All right. I'm assuming I'm back in the ship. I hope I am. Yep. We're just kind of rolling to see if we see it. We do see it. That's fine. Go ahead and move in on it. Go ahead and turn off that. We're on our way in here. Uh, we did have a CTD, but you know what? Well, no problem there. All right, there's our landing bay. All right, so the gear and the VTOLs were already down, which is great. Landing gear down. And this is going to be... I've been, yeah, I've been nosing in on these lately a little bit. That's the way I've kind of chosen to, to go about it. And I'll show you what I mean. We're just going to kind of saddle down here. So what I'm doing is I'm kind of just lining up over the top of the hole. And then just really kind of lining up directly above and then I'm nosing in. We know our gear is down, we're good there. We're just nosing in, we're bringing her in kind of nose down. And then I'm just gonna rotate her. Good. And we're just going to bring her down here. Still kind of getting used to the old SRV, but that's just fine. I just want to make sure I bring her in safe. Landing complete. Landing complete. All right, let's take a look at how we did. Not too bad. We'll take it for sure. That's awesome. So we'll go do our post flight here. And let's go in and got to refuel the hydrogen. We do have to take care of this crime sat. And let's go in and get it taken care of. And then we'll call an end of the video. And hopefully you got a sense of what it's like to use the SRV. It's such a fun vehicle. I just, I'm just adoring it. Uh, and off we go. Let's go on up. I have to check the video. This one does, definitely doesn't seem as framey as it was. I shot this whole video last night, and it went back in, when I was in post or whatever, and it just it just was a little too framey for me, so I kind of messed with it. Had an, uh, OBS had an update as well, so we'll have to see how that's going to play out, but system. hopefully it's good. All right, we'll store this guy on the pad. 
and we will head up to the admin office and pay off this crime stat and we will be ready to go for round two. So boom, you're gonna wanna go to the Galleria. The nice thing about, you know, having crime two, uh, you know, uh, um, just the level twos or whatever is you're not hunted with those. It's you gotta have a three to get hunted. Yeah, just, okay, the touch of frames there. Yeah, it's just now and then it's just kind of, just a little framey, but here's here's where we want to go, right? We want to log in as user. We are gonna pay this fine. Illegal it's illegal towing. It's not, you know, it's 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 not murder, you know. So I, I haven't felt bad about uh, doing this one at all. Um and so yeah, that's that. I'm gonna go ahead and do one of these here, a little outro for you. So that's that, yeah. SRV so much fun kudos to cig they really knocked that one out of the park um of course i would like to see uh, a little more articulation um, and maybe it just could be you know the problem could exist between keyboard and chair i may not know everything <laughs> um you know uh, it certainly is a new vehicle but i would like to see more like um articulation with the ship where you can hold r and rotate it and that type of thing i don't know if we'll get to that point uh, because the size of the things that we're talking about, maybe the, it's just, it's a tether rope, not necessarily an articulation rope type of thing. Uh, but other than that, no, I mean, I, I, and that's not really a complaint. It's just me just kind of thinking about how it could be a little better in the future. Anyways, thank you for your time. I hope that you're having a lovely uh, extended weekend. I uh, hope that you're getting a little extra time off and please take care of yourself and I will see you all around the verse.